Hello, and welcome to my tutorial series on how to make a 2D platformer in Unity. In today's video, what we're going to add is a little bit of a health counter here. And what it's going to do is that every time we hit our enemy, it's going to reload the scene when it lowers our health to zero or below. Let's get started. So we're going to start off by making a new UI element. Remember before we made this canvas and this is where we put our cherries and the amount of cherries we can pick up and how big this was and that our actual screen or actual play area was this little thing right down here. So now we're going to do the same thing only with our health. So we're going to right click, go down to UI, click on text, and we're going to call this health text. And then I'm going to hit my move tool. I'm going to put this up here. I'm going to zoom in because I'm going to have to change its size a little bit. I'm going to scroll this out a bit so we can, so we're going to be able to read it and try and make it same size as the other one. Move it over and then we're going to change the text in here to health. And we're going to increase the font size, maybe a little more, maybe a little more than that. What was the font size for the cherries actually? 75? All right, we'll make it that then. So the font size, which is now zero, we'll call 75. I think that's pretty good. Then we're just gonna move the box down a bit. And we're going to center our text just like so and then up here we had our anchors I'm gonna click that and we're gonna anchor this up into the left hand corner actually right here in our text we're going to put a colon and now we're going to make another one right click down to UI text and we're gonna call this health amount and we're going to set this to zero. Scroll out because it's over here in the center. Go to the move tool. Move it up here. Make it a little bigger. Doesn't need to be that big, probably. There we go. And as you can see, as I was moving it, I don't think we saw anything like this earlier. It tells me when it's lined up with the other text right there by coloring it orange. I actually didn't know it would do that, but that's good to have. I'm gonna move this in. We're gonna increase our font. Can we just make that 75? I think we can. I think that looks good like that. Probably just gonna shrink the box down a bit. Then we're gonna go back. I like to keep things centered. Actually, let's keep it to the left-hand side and centered. And then we're also going to anchor this to the left-hand corner. Actually, let's fix this a bit. Let's click on health text and actually let's make it bold like the other wording there so it matches. Let's do the same thing with the health amount. Just go right here, normal, bold. I think that looks a little better right there. And now we're going to go to our scripts. We're going to go to our player controller script and we're going to add yet another serialized field. I'm just going to copy. Control V to paste, and then it's actually going to be a private int, and it's just going to simply be called help. And I'm going to paste another one, Control F, and this one is actually going to be called a private text, and it's going to be called health amount. And then down here in our start, I'm going to, we're going to initialize our health. We're going to put health amount dot text is going to equal health dot two string parentheses and semicolon. So this will initialize our, the health amount, the number that's going to go right here when the game starts. So we want two things to happen. 
one, we every time the frog touches our player, we want him to subtract health. And two, when our health is zero or less, we want to reload the scene. But to reload the scene, we need another using namespace up here. So what we need to put is using Unity Engine dot scene management. And this functions very much in the same way that we needed to be able to access functions for UI. Now we need to do it for our scene management and how we manage and load scenes. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to come down here and right here in our state equals state dot hurt. We're actually going to put a function after this and we're going to call it handle health. And so this is where the function is going to be initiated. And right down here is where we're going to put all the code for it. So private void handle health parentheses and brackets, a little space for our code. And in here, we're going to put health minus equals one. So just like with the cherries, when we picked them up, where we said plus equals one, minus equals one will subtract one from our health. After that, we're going to put health amount dot text is equal to health dot to string parentheses and at the end of it a semicolon and this is going to print this out to it's going to print out our health or update our health to the text and then we're going to put if health is less than or equal to zero brackets and then we're going to put scene manager dot load scene and then scene manager let me spell this right manager dot get active scene a parentheses then dot name and at the end of it a semicolon so this is basically saying that if the health goes below zero the scene manager will load the current scene the get active scene right there so we're going to hit save and we're going to go and see how this all did so we're going to go over to the left hand side we're going to click on our player we're going to go down here here is our serialized fields here's our health, which is zero, we're just gonna make that one. Now we have this health amount. We're gonna go to our canvas, that's this right here. We're gonna click on this, drag it all the way here and fill it out there that the health amount text will be filled as it goes along. Gonna hit play. Gonna go slowly, here's my health is one. And if I bump into them, then it starts over again and it restarts the scene, just like so. So a bit of a short video today, somewhere like that. So as always, thank you for watching. Like this video, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Facebook and Twitter, and support me on Patreon. And as always, a special big thanks to all my Patreon supporters. See you next time.